This video is intended to demonstrate uh, the app available from RTI, which allows us to create a fully customizable interface uh, to control your home either while you're at home or while you're uh, away, uh, which works over the Wi-Fi network, uh, sorry, a, a Wi-Fi hotspot or the mobile network. Um, so it's, this, is, this app's currently available for the iPad, the iPod Touch and uh, iPhone. Um, obviously the iPad has a bigger screen so it offers a lot more screen real estate as far as uh, placing buttons and viewing uh, status of the home and that sort of thing go so I'll, I'll use that for this particular demonstration however all the same functions are available on the other two devices as well uh, just obviously you need to create a whole bunch of extra there's there's a lot more screens involved in order to get the same functionality or you'd have to have really small buttons um, so this this app is obviously only uh, is only going to work if you have an existing uh, RTI control system in place in your home or if you're planning on putting one in then uh, we can provide the uh, this functionality as well along with the control system so it's not going to work in a normal home that uh, is using uh, uh, normal remotes and that sort of thing to control your your TVs and that sort of thing because obviously an iPad and iPhone don't have uh, an IR output this is all over the Wi-Fi network which goes to a uh, control module which is inside a rack which activates which controls the whole home as far as lighting and HVAC and uh, audio video everything that you want to control um, so first of all if you notice up in the top corner I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to see that on the video or not but uh, this is currently connected uh, on a 3d network not on Wi-Fi which means that I could be running this exact same demonstration somewhere in a, in a different country if I wanted I don't necessarily need to be in the home to control it um, I could switch it on to Wi-Fi and it gives uh, a little bit faster access while you're in the home uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration I want to make sure that it was clear that Wi-Fi is not necessary we can control this from anywhere in the world basically that's the advantage of uh, having this this app as opposed to having normal keypads and remotes in your home um, so a lot, a lot of these functions, uh, the audio video control, that sort of thing, obviously aren't going to be uh, all that necessary to have while you're remote, while you're not in the home. However, things like uh, HVAC control, lighting control, uh, and then automation functions are definitely an asset as far as uh, being able to control that sort of thing while you're coming home from vacation or while you're on vacation or even while you're at work, that sort of thing to see uh, what's on in the home and control it. So if you're coming home from from work or coming home from a weekend away you can uh, push the welcome home button and it'll uh, bring your your temperature in your home back to a living level the normal level that you want to uh, that you normally have it at as, as opposed to the economical level that it's in when it's in a way or extended away so I'll get right into it um, so for, first of all uh, when we leave the home so right now in the home we've got a there's a bunch of lights on there's a uh, a couple zones playing audio um, so when we leave, we simply, uh, in, first of all, this, this is just uh, a demonstration for the iPad, but the same functionality is on remotes and keypads in the home as well. So the, the activity is the same. This just gives you the access to do it on, uh, on, a, on an app. So if we push away, we'll see these are the lights that are on. So all of a sudden, all the lights turn off except for a path out to the uh, garage, basically. Um, and at night, if it was after dark, you would also get the uh, front lights, the outside lights would actually turn on as well um, after sunset for a certain, at a certain period of time. Uh, the HVAC turned down to uh, a lower level, a uh, more economical level. Uh, you heard probably here in the background, the uh, audio just turned off. You can see a couple zones turned off down here. Um, and then now it is in away mode, the home's in away mode, so uh, I just explained lights are lights are off, audio video is off. Um, at 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon now, the home will come back, well actually just the uh, HVAC will turn back to uh, uh, a, a different level, so uh, a higher level for heat and lower level for air conditioning, so a more livable level, so that it's ready for when you get home from work type thing. Um, so then when we get home, say we get home early uh, or late and we push the welcome home button, um, the lights haven't turned off yet because these, these, the path doesn't turn, sorry, the path of light to the garage doesn't turn off for 20 minutes. Um, then all the lights turn off after 20 minutes. So when we come home, HVAC turn back up, lights turn on depending on uh, what time of day it is, basically if it's dark, if uh, it even turns on uh, to a higher level, if 
it's raining out or if it's cloudy out because uh, you need a little bit more light in the home then than if you than if it's sunny out. Uh, you can hear in the background the radio came on in the living room, which is just a function that that we like to have in this home. Uh, we just listen to the radio a lot in the living room, so that that can be anything. I could turn on uh, different things by pushing "Welcome Home." I could have uh, on suite with uh, TV on, a couple of bedrooms with uh, radio on, another bedroom playing a certain playlist, that sort of thing. So it's all customizable. So then going back to uh, uh, the difference between, so now I'll push extended away. Um, the only difference being, so now we'll see the HVAC turns down to an even lower level. Um, you're going to be away for an extended period of time. Um, Audio, audio does the same thing. All the zones are going to turn off after, uh, say, 20 seconds, I think it is. So that's just to give you some time to get out of the house. It doesn't necessarily have to turn off right away, so you can listen to music while you're leaving if you have that on. Um, so now it's turned off. This light will turn off, showing that the living room power is turned off. There it goes. Uh, the path of light out to the garage is on. Um, and now the only difference here is that it's not the HVAC isn't going to come back on at 4:30. It's not going to come back on now until you either uh, activate and welcome home from here, or you come and uh, turn it on manually, basically from the HVAC settings in here. Um, so that's what this is all describing. What is uh, what extended away mode is, and the home is in that mode right now. And then after, like I mentioned, uh, after 20 minutes, all the lights in the house turn off, so that path of light will disappear. And then after, uh, after dark, the lights are going to come on. Uh, different zones will come on at different times of the night to kind of make it look like you're at home. You can even have the TV come on uh, at, at different times of the night if you're away to make it really look like you're at home. Um, so now other things that get used quite a bit are things like uh, good night. So a good night function is uh, obviously uh, when you're uh, when you're done for the day, you push good night. We have a few options here. This just depends. This the only difference between these three is what time the air conditioning or uh, heat comes on in the morning. So if you're going to sleep in, it comes on later type thing. So if we just select no, for example, this turns off the lights uh, in the main home. But it also creates a path of light up to um, the ensuite, basically. So we'll go up to the ensuite first, basically, and uh, get ready for bed. Um, heat turns down. So now, in 20 minutes, uh, all the lights will turn off. In uh, so, sorry, yeah, the upper upper hall. So certain lights will turn off here, and then in another. So it leaves these lights on. The main floor turned all off, and then. You're expected to be up in the bathroom by now, so then the lights stay on there for, and then 20 minutes later, these lights also turn off. Then in the morning, when you, when you get up, you push good morning, house comes alive again, basically heat will come back up. Lights come on, depending on, again, depending on the time of day it is, and if it's dark out, if it's raining out, whatever conditions that you want to have. Radio comes on, turns to control the radio. Um, so the other functions that we have uh, that are more useful when you're away are obviously the welcome home is a good one to have because when you're coming home you can just push that and now the home is awake by the time you get home. Um, but we also have uh, full climate control here. So you can access this obviously wherever you are in the world so we can see what the temperature is, what the weather is currently at home. Um, you can control it. Uh, you, can, you can see that right now actually the breakfast lighting scene is on. Um, I can turn all the lights off here now if I want. Hit breakfast, it comes back on again. Lights. So this shows what lights are on in the home currently. Um, more in the kitchen, you can see the kitchen is on. I can turn it off and should be able to see it dimming on the video, I would think. Um, off and on. Living room lights are on. Stairs are on. I can turn all this stuff off just by clicking the room on. On suite on, off. So that's turning rooms on and off. We can also do scenes, kitchen, scene, a casual scene, those different lighting scenes through the home. Turn the kitchen back on. Uh, and then you can also control them individually. So this is showing all the lighting levels like you've already seen. You can see them turn to different levels when we uh, change the scenes. That sort of thing. Then you can control them individually. 
So we've got, uh, right now we're at the island, so if I, you can probably see in the background, island turning on and off. Or I can hit all off again, turn them all off, and then just go back to the kitchen scene, because that's where we are. Okay, so now, apart from the uh, HVAC and lighting control, we can also control uh, the whole house, uh, the whole home audio video, so this screen lets us choose a room that we want to control, so I can just select a, a different room here, now it's controlling the master bedroom, and then I would just select what I want it to do in the master bedroom. Uh, for example, let's choose the living room, um, and in the living room, right now the radio is on in the background, um, if we select media center, that's going to change the activity to the media center. Um, you'll be able to hear the radio turn off, the media center turns on, and now we're controlling the media center. Um, I don't know if you can see in the background or not, but this is actually controlling it. The nice thing about uh, having the iPad for controlling this sort of thing as opposed to a regular remote is uh, for things like the media center where we can uh, do searches for recorded shows or searches for in the guide for shows, that sort of thing. I can pull up a full keyboard and it's a lot quicker to, to do obviously than uh, the other method. Let's go back to control that. So then if we want to change, uh, instead of watching media center, if we want to watch uh, in the, if we want to watch uh, say TV, um, for example, in the background, this changes to this changes to control the TV, and in the background, it's now on TV instead. How about if we want to do music through the home? We can select uh, music here. This will change. You can hear in the background the TV is uh, turned off while the TV is still on, showing the picture, so we can watch uh, a show at the same time. And then we can choose a few zones that we want to play some music in here, for example. And then choose a playlist. Or you can scroll through your music this way. You can hear in the background the music started playing and uh, it comes up showing you what's playing. If you're on the Wi-Fi network, this will show the album art as well. Uh, over 3G it doesn't yet for some reason. So now it's audio is playing in all these zones. The same, the same audio is playing in all these zones, and we can turn a different one on, a different one on, and off at the same time if we want. Control them right from here. Also, we can push this as the power button, so we can see what zones are playing in a different format. So if I want to turn the garage off, on suite off, as an example, or I can hit all off. This will turn off all audio video. It doesn't touch the lights or HVAC, just turns the audio video off. So this is just an example of what's uh, available for um, both control uh, using RTI and also uh, using the new iPad app. Um, again, fully customizable, so these buttons and these functions are specific to this particular home. Every home is going to be completely different. The interface is going to be different, the control is going to be different, uh, what you want the temperature set to, that sort of thing is all going to be different depending on your home. So that's it. Thanks for watching and if you have any uh, questions please feel free to e email them to me and I'll uh, be glad to answer them for you. Thanks.